Uh, welcome to uh, Pops's um, locating posts and footings correctly. Here, I got two houses right here. One, two, and the sloping lot right there. Raised floor foundation. So if you look at the floor, if you look at the floor plan, what I've got is here. The, you, you can see my, I got my girders right there, and I want to start putting some posts in there. Down here, you have the uh, whatever. Now I'm going to start putting some uh, posts in there. We're going to see how, where they're located, okay? Uh, come over to here and uh, put a post in there. Watch this. One, two, three. They're all located in the wrong location. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, okay? But now I'm going to do the same thing over here. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily select this wall and make it no room def. See what happens? Now watch what happens when I put the, this is like the deck, if you put a deck in there, you know, when you put a deck in there, they, they find the grade, put a post, one, see that, now it's sitting right up on the, it's finding itself on the grade, see that, you can see it's starting to follow the grade, the posts are, now all you do, once you get your posts in there, and if you want, you can copy these things, copy uh, eight and copy them over to here, and I, I don't know if they're going to find the right location, to be quite frankly, I don't think they will. But if you want, yeah, they're the same height. But now all you do is select this wall here, U, and uh, make it a room def. Now you're back to normal, not back to where you want it. Now you get your, you, that's if you have a slope lot. If you don't have a slope lot, then I think I would put one in. If it's flat underneath your grade, your, your floor, I just put a, a, a post and footing in there, resize it to the way you want it, and then copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So that's a little trick on getting this thing to follow the grade. And that's the end.